What have you done? <laughs> Stupid idea. Oh, he's going to fail. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you how to do it. You know, oh, don't worry. Listen to me. I can tell you. Have you actually had all these comments passed at you when you have a brilliant idea and then all of a sudden you listen to everything and then you're like, oh man, it's really stupid idea. I'm not going to do it. Let me share with you in this video how I personally overcame all of that, didn't care about what other people said and believed in myself and did it. One more thing. There's a bonus coming up at the end of this video. Listen on and I'll share with you that bonus. My name is Sukhdev. Today I want to share with you my personal story on how I've actually had to deal with a lot of people passing me a lot of comments and I believed in myself and I got success. Now through this journey, I've had three, three things I've learned. Number one, people pleasers. Look, as a child, I've grown up, you know, always learning how to be nice to people around me say good things to this person, to that person. But in all of this, it has also created this programming in my mind to also care about what this person says, what that person says, being a people pleaser. Oh, if I do something wrong, that person is going to feel bad. This person is going to feel bad. In all of this, when you start pleasing others, you forget to please yourself. And that's when you have an idea and you're like, oh, what will this person say? What will that person say? And then you forget to do your own idea. It's your idea. Have you felt this before? So I came across one quote by Lao Tzu and this changed my whole perspective. Let me share this with you. Lao Tzu says, care about what other people think and you will always be their prisoner. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you want to be someone's prisoner or do you want to be free? So same thing. It's your idea. Do you want to keep pleasing others or do you want to believe in yourself and implement your idea? The choice is yours. I, I learned this the hard way. It took me a long time. And today I am standing in front of you making this YouTube channel because I want to share what I've learned with you. So it inspires you. So if you have an idea, go for it. I'm with you. I believe in your idea. Comment below if you've got an idea or a question that you'd like to ask me. All the best to you. Number two, your ideas. When you have an idea, people are going to have opinions. Everybody's going to have opinions. Good opinions, bad opinions, crazy opinions, opinions everywhere. But let me ask you this. If they keep giving you opinions and you listen to them, it becomes their idea, not yours. So do you want to have your idea or their idea? Now, how I took at it was another way is people are giving me opinions left, right and center. Do this, now do this. Oh, that's wrong. This is not great. I'm thinking to myself, well, if you're giving me so many ideas, why haven't you done it? See, because they don't believe in it. So if you believe in your idea, your opinion matters. And that's what I understood. My opinion mattered the most because I believe in sharing and inspiring you. So if you've got an idea, I'd like to repeat, go for it. Believe in yourself. Your opinion matters the most. Number three, haters. Oh, absolutely. When you grow, be prepared to have haters. In fact, there's a saying, you probably heard this. If you don't have haters, you're probably doing it the wrong way. That's right. You heard me right. Haters will be there. Absolutely. They're there to actually pass comments, pull you down. But on the other side is when people pull you down, you get the strength to lift yourself up, your idea implemented. Another thing that I learned from haters is haters are one side. They will hate you. They're always there to pass negative comments, but they make me realize that there is people that love you. 
So yes, if there's an idea that someone hates, there's an idea that someone loves as well. So would you like to cater to the haters or the lovers? The choice is yours. So again, go for it. Stop worrying about what people say. Believe in yourself. Haters are there to hate. You're there to share and inspire people. So go for it. All right. I've got one bonus tip. One bonus tip. It's, this is a secret that I use to measure my success. Let me share this with you, right? I've got this whiteboard behind me. So just bear with me. I've just installed it as well. So this is how I, I do, right? So let's say this is it's a bit of a graph here. When you have an idea, at first your idea, people will ignore you. Okay? People will absolutely ignore you. Oh, don't worry, man. He's gonna, he's gonna fail. He's got an idea, it's okay. He'll fail, people will ignore you. When you start getting success, this is where the fun starts. They start laughing at you. They laugh. <laughs> Stupid idea. Let him waste his money. Let him waste his time. Keep going, right? This, they're going to laugh at you. But then you keep going. Now the best part comes is you have haters, right? You have haters. As soon as you see, you're going in the right direction. So don't care. Be prepared for people to laugh at you. Be prepared for people to hate you. Oh, absolutely. You've got haters. It means you're heading in the right direction. Go for it. Go for it. Now, the best part that you're waiting for after the haters, what happens is what you get here. The biggest aspect is success. So, yes, that's how I measure myself is ignore. Don't worry. People laugh. You laugh back. It's fine. And then when you have haters, bear with them. Don't worry. Ignore them and success will come your way. So once again, you've got an idea, go for it, believe in yourself and you can do it. All the best to you. Comment below and see you later. Bye.